Hello, illustrious edition, can you do it? The field I study came from alchemy, so I can talk about this, right? In the anime Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, early in the story, Edward and Alphonse perform human transmutation to bring back their dead mother, which costed all his entire body and at his arm and his leg. Of course, as the one who performed human transmutation, Ed knows the chemical that forms a human. 35 liters of water, 20 kilograms of carbon, 4 liters of ammonia, 1.5 kilograms of lime, 800 grams of phosphorus, 250 grams of salt, 100 grams of nitre, 80 grams of sulfur, 7.5 grams of fluorine, 5 grams of iron, 3 grams of silicon, and others. I think the original non-brotherhood one said 15 trace elements. I think this scene is popular and I saw this debunk in many places. There is one that came from Stack Exchange, there is one in Reddit with corrected ingredient list. Also, MadPad has a video about this too. With those previous sources in mind, I'll try giving another different perspective about this scene. First, I want to examine the choice of chemicals. Ed said that these ingredients can be bought at the market with the kids' pocket money, so it's cheap. Water, carbon, ammonia, lime, makes sense. Phosphorus, the red ones, can be obtained from matchsticks. Although in USA and present time, note that in FMA it's around early 20th century, red phosphorus is in DAA list 1 chemicals, so it's hard to obtain if you are in USA. Salt, obvious. Nitre, for fireworks, somewhat makes sense. Sulfur, okay, and I think the biggest mistake here is fluorine. Elemental fluorine is very reactive and it's also a gas, so you need steel tanks to store it. It's also a pain in the ass to produce and isolate, because producing fluorine gas usually involves hydrofluoric acid, which is also reactive and it's glass. It's a pretty tough element to isolate, so much that such process deserves a Nobel Prize, and it actually happened in 1906. I think this one should be replaced with a more common and much less reactive compound containing fluorine atom, and it's this rock, called fluoride. Iron, easy. Silicon, uh, not as easy, but shouldn't be as bad as fluorine. Can be obtained by heating silica with carbon, but we might as well use silica, aka quartz sand, in the first place. Then again, there is alchemy in the FMA world, so perhaps producing phosphorus, fluorine gas, and silicon are not as hard as here in real life without alchemical magic. Still on the subject of choice of chemicals, I think there are missing elements. For the purpose of this video, I'm referring to this Wikipedia page, Composition of the Human Body, for comparison. After a careful look at this page, it seems that the element with the lowest fraction mass included by Ed is silicon, but there are two elements that is above silicon but excluded in the ingredient list, that is magnesium and zinc. In other words, add somehow missed two elements that are more significant than silicon. As for sources for both that is easy to obtain, I guess Ed can use magnesium ribbon with pure zinc metal, with the benefit that it's elemental just like phosphorus, sulfur, fluorine, iron, and silicon mentioned, which makes calculation easier. If it needs to be even more simple, another pair of objects as alternative to both is Epsom salt, magnesium sulfate, and the outer metal of zinc carbon batteries. Now to the part that I guess is the most people's nightmare, math. To be more exact, this is mostly high school stoichiometry lesson in chemistry. My goal here is to calculate how many grams are there in each element, so I can calculate the ratio of each element mass to the total and compare it to the data in literature. Some of the ingredients here are made of single elements like carbon, phosphorus, sulfur, fluorine, iron, and silicon, so easy enough. 800 grams of phosphorus is obviously 800 grams of phosphorus atoms, for example. However, there are ingredients which are made of two or more elements like lime, salt, and nitre. From stoichiometry, the ratio of calcium mass to the calcium carbonate mass is the ratio of the molar masses of both. So 40 over 40 plus 12 plus 16 times 3, or 40 over 100. This smaller mass thing is the mass of a thing if you have 600 and 2 sextillion of that thing. Sextillion? What? Sex? So if you have 600 and 2 sextillion of calcium atoms, the mass should be 40 grams. 
660 of carbon atoms here is 12 grams and 660 of oxygen atoms is 16 grams. This information is usually written in periodic table. Of course, 660 of calcium carbonate molecules are made of 660 calcium atoms, 660 of carbon atoms, and 18,660 of oxygen atoms. So 660 of calcium carbonate molecules is 100 grams. So in 1500 grams of calcium carbonate, the calcium mass is 1500 times 40 divided by 100, so 720 grams. Do the same for the carbon in calcium carbonate and oxygen in carbonates, and each element in sodium chloride and potassium nitrate. Water aka H2O2, but it's given in liters instead of kilograms or grams. Well, good thing that 1 liter of water is approximately 1 kilogram of water, so easy conversion. The hardest ingredient here to calculate is ammonia. Considering that this ingredient is quoted in liters, and it should be easy to obtain with kids pocket money, I'm guessing the ammonia here is the household ones. 5 to 10 percent ammonia by weight, dissolved in water. I'm taking the number 8 percent, as it was a number between those numbers and the data I need only lists density at certain percentages. This data says that 1 liter of 8% ammonia solution is 0.9651 kg, so 4 liter of it is 3.8604 kg. 8% of it is NH3, so the mass of NH3 for the calculation is 308.8 grams, which can be separated into mass of nitrogen atoms and mass of hydrogen atoms the same way as calcium carbonate from before. The remaining 92% is H2O, so there is another 3.552 kg of water to be calculated. After all those ingredients are separated into elements, now I can easily sum them up. Also, I calculated the total mass of all the ingredients. Assuming non-mentioned ingredients that is the 15 trace elements are negligible and looks like we are making a 62 kg human. The fraction mass is simply the mass of the element over the total mass. The numbers of fraction mass should add up to 1 instead of adding up to 100 like in percentages. But both fraction mass and percentage mass have the same idea anyway. I'm using fraction mass because the data in Wikipedia also uses fraction mass so I can compare them easily with percent error formula. And from that percent error numbers, I can conclude that the human transmutation ingredients are wrong in so many places, so the human transmutation is not possible. And that's a similar conclusion to MatPat and the gas in stack exchange. Looking at my result, the one that's obviously different to MatPat is my nitrogen content, and that alone is definitely fatal on top of other stuff MatPat already mentioned like fluorine level too high that makes bones brittle or potassium too low to make heart beat. Nitrogen is a major component in human body along with C, H, O, P, and S, so John piece. And it's used everywhere in the human body in form of protein that forms all sorts of machinery in the body. Because I use the assumption of 8% ammonia solution, the human here lacks a lot of nitrogen. And even with such watery ammonia, it doesn't help the hydrogen and oxygen enough. So as MatPat said, that is dehydrated human. Still about the nitrogen, there is actually a big source of nitrogen that is ever present. And that is the air that contains 78% N2. And for my math, you need a sphere of air this big. While the bowl is smaller than my room, and the Elric Brothers basement seems to be a big room, so no problem, right? Except in regular chemistry without alchemical magic, N2 has a triple bond. The nitrogen and protein in human body are usually in NH3 or NH2 forms, meaning those N2 must be separated and that is hard task to do, because the triple bond in N2 takes a lot of energy. Even with alchemical magic, I assume that is still true. So taking N2 from air will probably take a lot of magic energy. So this nitrogen deficiency must be corrected with something else. 
like for example using urea powder or ammonium nitrate powder, and both are fertilizer materials. To sum up, the ingredient choice mentioned by Ed is weird, especially fluorine and the absence of magnesium and zinc. And the proportions of the ingredients Ed mentioned is also bad, messy, and the mistakes are all over the place. No wonder Ed failed. Even when ignoring the missing soul thing, the body is also pretty bad anyway. What do you think? Should I make another video with correct ingredients? If the answer is yes, let me know by commenting, yes please, what's the correct ingredients or something. Thanks for watching. Bye.